Hi guys, this is Joe from JoeColantonio.com. In this video, I'm going to give you a high-level overview of what a business process test is and how to create one. Business process testing is a way that enables automation engineers and subject matter experts to work together to create automated tests. So business process testing, also known as BPT, is made up of components. And these components are the building blocks of a test. Components are reusable actions or modules that perform a specific task in an application. In my application, I have actions like login, log out, create new appointment, full registration, navigate. All of these would be considered components. A new business process test would consist of taking these components and stringing them together to create the functionality needed for a test. Now you can create your components at either a high level or a low level. So a low level may be you have a generic text box component that handles all text box in your applications. Or you can create a more high level component such as you know, a full registration or a create new, a new appointment. So let's take these components and create a new test. So click on test plan. In the test plan, let's create a new test. And for the new test type, it's going to be business process and test name, we'll call it new appointment. Select your test and then click on the test script tab. Click on select component. And on the right hand side, navigate to the components you want to include in your test. For my tests, I'm going to include a login, a navigate, a create new appointment, and a logo. Now some of these components already have default values in it. This is specified when you create the component, you can tell it to have certain values that default in. Now to change a value, all you need to do is select the and just add the inputs that you want to include. I'm going to take the default values for the create new appointment. Awesome. So we just created our first business process test. And it's as easy as that. Now, to run this, you can either run it from this view and just click on the run or debug test, or you can treat it just like you would a normal QTP test and add it to your test lab. So let's click on test lab. And now I'm going to select the business process test that we just created. And then you just need to specify the machine you want to run it on. And then click Run. So what's awesome about this is the reusability of these components. The same components that we use to create our new appointment test, we can also use to create any other test that we want. So let's say I want to create another test. For the new test, I want to register a new patient. To create a new patient, I need to do a login, a navigate, a full registration, and a logout. Notice we're using some of the same components we use for the new appointment, plus some new components to get the functionality we need. So you can see these components, once you write them once, they're reusable and you can use them in any test. So with the business process test, when you use these components, what's happening really is a component is really just a QTP script. And this QTP script is saved as a business component. So when you run a business process test, it starts up QTP. So basically what it's doing, it's using a component as a fancy UI wrapper for QTP, just to make it easier to navigate and to create tests within Quality Center, especially for people that may not be familiar with QTP. You know, you usually would have a library of predefined components that they would then use to drag and drop to create the tests they need. If they are creating a test that doesn't have a specific component that they need, they would request it from the automation engineer who would then create that component and then they would be able to use that component in all their other tests. And that's business process testing in a nutshell. 